Will you please step forward? No, no, no. Prepare yourself for the witness box. Take off your hat. Now raise your right hand. Now place your left hand here. Take off your hat. Raise your right hand. Now put your left hand here. Please take off your hat. Raise your right hand. <laughs> now put your left hand here. Will you please take off your hat? Raise your right hand. <laughs> now put your left hand here. Take off your hat. Raise your right hand. Will you get rid of that hat? Raise your right hand. Raise your right hand. Do you solemnly swear to tell the truth, all the truth, and nothing but the truth? Huh? Do you solemnly swear to tell the truth, all the truth, and nothing but the truth? Are you trying to give me the double talk? Do you solemnly swear to tell the truth, all the truth, and nothing but the truth? Why don't you answer him? He's talking big Latin. I don't know what he's saying. He's asking you if you swear. No, but I know all the words. He's asking you if you'll swear to tell the truth. Truth is stranger than fiction, Judgey Wudgey. <laughs> Kindly address this court as your honor and take the oath. Do you solemnly swear to tell the truth, all the truth, and the truth? Certainly. What have I got to lose? Take the stand. Where did I put it? No, no. Take the stand. I got it. Now what will I do with it? to the case. Were you in the Black Bottom Cafe on the night of February the 13th? Certainly. Did you at that time see the defendant, Miss Gail Tempest, in any way, shape, or form, commit or try to commit bodily harm to the deceased Kirk Robin? I object, Your Honor. House is trying to lead the witness. Objection sustained. Hmm. Mr. Howard, did you see Miss Gail Tempest? In physical fight with Kirk Robin? If it pleases the court, may I suggest that counsel be instructed to allow the witness to testify to what he saw. I say, Jasper, uh, what comes after 75? 76. That's the spirit. <laughs> Request granted. Proceed with the testimony. Mr. Howard, kindly tell the court what you know about the murder of Kirk Robin. Well, it was like this, Mr. Court. Address the judge as your honor. Well, it was like this, my honor. Your honor, not my honor. Why? Don't you like him? Allow the witness to proceed. The court understands him. Thanks, Cody. You're a pal. Well, me and my pals, we're musicians. We were tearing up some hot swing music in the orchestra. Gail over there was swinging the fans. Her sweetie, Kirk Robin, was inhaling a bottle of hooch at a table. And a hoofer by the name of Buck Wing was getting ready to shake his tootsies. Kindly speak English and drop the vernacular. Vernacular? That's a doiby. Drop the vernacular. No, no, not that. Talk so the jury can understand. Is everybody dumb? 